it finally happened. He was born to be in it. The climate will fry us, but man, he will not do it. The moment is now. Yes, Beto will not run for president. We've heard a lot of people speculate that you and Senator Cruz may face each other again, not in a Senate rematch, but running for a higher office. What are your thoughts on, on running for president? I don't want to do it. I will not do it. Uh, Amy and I are raising an 11 year old, a 10 year old and a seven year old. And we've spent the better part of the last two years um, not with each other, missing birthdays and anniversaries and time together. And um, we, we um, our, our family could not survive more of that. Uh, we, we need to be together. He bit the bullet. To hell with the family. The missus is ecstatic. After four months of sort of saying, look, I'm thinking about this. This is something I'm considering for myself, for my family. He is finally making it official. All that anticipation coming to today in which he releases this video with his wife, Amy, saying I'm officially in the race. Let me let you listen to a bit of it. Amy and I are happy to share with you that I'm running to serve you as the next president of the United States of America. This is a defining moment of truth for this country and for every single one of us. The challenges that we face right now, the interconnected crises in our economy, our democracy, and our climate have never been greater. And they will either consume us or they will afford us the greatest opportunity to unleash the genius of the United States of America. In other words, this moment of peril produces perhaps the greatest moment of promise for this country and for everyone inside of it. Who would not eulogize with fawning eyes that the defining moment of truth has finally arrived? If it's false, still everyone inside can munch on a moment of truth. He'll do policy for the people in the innermost. In the outermost, in the Israeli land of campaign promises, he'll do policy for the gilded and sightsee a peace process for the jilted. He'll slam the occupation in principle, but principally won't change a damn thing. He'll put his mouth where the money is. But we're on the inside, and change is moving on down the street, like an old Chevy running on empty, filling up in Mexico. No matter how you got inside, cause you're anchored as a beta baby to Beto's brave dystopian world. Hi everyone, I'm Rena Nine, and thank you for joining us. Former Texas Congressman Beto O'Rourke made it official today and said he is running for president. O'Rourke rolled out his campaign with a feature in Vanity Fair, including photographs by legendary photographer Annie Leibovitz. The tagline for the article: "I want to be in it, man. I'm just born to be in it, man." Vanity Fair, owned by the Newhouse boys, was transcript to be in it. And he leave if it's to that legendary paparazzo who transposes photo fantasies into moments of truth was just born to be yoked to Susie Sontag. It was a love affair, leave of its views. That lover, Susan Sontag, born Susan Rosenblatt, penned the piece titled White Civilization is a Cancer. It made a big splash when she wrote in it Mozart, algebra, and Shakespeare cannot redeem what white civilization wrought upon the world. Scruples prevailed. Sontag recanted. It slandered cancer, patients she decried. Then she died of cancer of the white blood cells. Well, there's an irony here. It's okay to be white inside. It's gender neutral too. And talk about clashing up civilizations. Muslims created algebra, not whites. Boy, if only intellectuals can be historically correct. But let's celebrate. Beto has that changey feel. And man, he's in good company. It was Leibovitz who shot the pics of the champ, changing into a vamp, a femme fatale, a seductress, a temptress with feverish eyes in a climate where a little photoshopping will do you. We're all going to get do yet into 2020. It's not an illusion. It's perilous with promise. At negative rates, you can take it to the bank. You can Google it. I bet you Beto will never get deranked.